The very wet season of 2012 has led different groups of viners to look at alternative methods for getting the machines across the land and to get the right traction. In this programme we're looking at the Anglin Pea Growers Group and the Whole Beach Marsh Cooperative who have respectively opted for tyres and tracks. Let's start with Anglin Pea Growers. Vining. We're with the Angler Pea Growers Group just outside Great Yarmouth on the North Norfolk coast. The conditions, to say the least, are extremely difficult. The month and a half of rain that we've had has really churned up the field, but the two FMC 989s are coping well. Let's go and look at the machines. The 989s have been fitted with larger Trelleborg 710 tyres on the front and rear and the front two tyres run at a relatively low pressure of 1.8 bar while the rear tyres run at 2.0. second point to make is that the bogey system allows the first and third axle to steer and indeed PMC had uh, quite a lot of advice from the Anglin Pea Growers Group about this system. Technical director of the group, Ed Hadding, favours the, the bogey system on the front, uh, thinking it gives the best combination of manoeuvrability and traction, and indeed makes an interesting point as to whether combine manufacturers should not consider fitting this system of a two axle at the front with um, the first one steering as, in his view, it reduces scuffing and um, the bearing of straw on headlands. It has to be said, in the conditions uh, we're looking at, almost anything would be scuffing the ground, but certainly the two 989 machines kept going, while an older 979 machine, which was without the dual steering axles or the large tyres, had been sidelined on the side of the field. Conditions were so wet that the decision had been made to keep the tractor and trailer off the field and to uh, opt for unloading on the headland. And indeed, um, the tractor and trailer itself had got stuck a number of times. So here we see um, the second machine unloading onto the high rise tractor and trailer. And as many of you will know, this then needs to go to the lorries and get the peas into the freezing plant within hours. The Anglin Pea Growers Group is led by director Richard Hurst and the group comprises growers who cover the area from south of Ipswich up to the North Norfolk coast and inland to Mid Suffolk. The organising of the drilling and vining requires military precision and uh, takes a lot of work throughout the season. Furthermore, it requires a good, well fitted out workshop and also strong field management capabilities. And here we see Michael Cook, who is the uh, manager for the field activities. Okay, 
This, uh, the, the other miner was yep. the sort of one of the earlier. We leave the Anglian Pea Growers Group with one of the machines stalling but not actually getting stuck. We've now moved up to Lincolnshire and are with the Holbeach Marsh Cooperative. They have run 979 machines on tracks for a number of years. Um, they have three viners in the group and two of them have now been converted to tracks. And the manager of the group, Richard Fat Fitzpatrick, is looking to convert the third machine. The advantages they see with tracks are that uh, it allows them to keep going in very wet conditions. And also interestingly, the machines, even in dry conditions, work uh, better and more smoothly, particularly when there are occasions they have to combine across the, or vine, across the tram lines uh, when the wind is blowing the peas in the wrong direction. Here we see two of the track machines in operation. system has been sourced from class and are familiar to those of you who are running Lexian uh, combines. They also allow a fairly uh, a re relatively fast speed of maneuver along the roads and here we see the machines pulling out on their way to the next field. We hope you've enjoyed this programme from Agri Insight and we'd very much like to thank the Hull Beach Marsh Cooperative and Anglin Pea Growers Group. We hope you'll be able to join us for the next programme. Thank you.